It's an honor to be gathered here in Emily Yasmin High School today, November 7, 2016, to celebrate one of the most important national events in the history of our country. It's obviously the 41st anniversary of the Green March. In order to enlighten us, present here today some students of, the, of different grades and Mr. Fateh, an English teacher. Every November 6, Moroccans celebrate the anniversary of the Green March, the largest, longest, and most peaceful march anywhere in the world. The day is a national holiday in Morocco, during which Moroccans recall the extraordinary events of the Green March. All the participants went in an atmosphere of celebration and belief in God and patriotic values. Along the way, people sang joyfully as they made the pilgrimage to a part of their country to show the world that all Moroccans are one when it comes to their country. In God they trusted as the Moroccans marched, carrying currents and green flags to show the world that all Moroccans were for peace and that they would take back their rights peacefully, avoiding any damage of useless wars. So the Moroccans, with the belief in their national issue, could have what they were determined to realize as they contributed successfully to the liberation of the Moroccan Sahara. On November 14, 1975, just a few days after the launch of the Green March, Morocco, Spain and Mauritania signed an agreement in Madrid uh, whereby Morocco regained the southern provinces. The agreement was approved by uh, al Jama, the only authentic representative of the Saharan people. After this historical event, people returned home, bringing with them their strong, their strong value of patriotism and Moroccan flags. The Green March remains the pride of all Moroccans and a lesson to the world in promoting peace. It remains a symbol of determination, courage and sacrifice for the sake of the nation. <clears throat> to present for us this, let's welcome Mariam Toby, who is going to give us an introduction about the topic at hand. Hi, and uh, thank you for having us tonight. So, uh, the Green March is one of the most uh, prominent events that uh, was a guiding chapter in the history of Morocco in 1975. It is called Green with the reference to its meaning in Islam. The Green March is considered to be the most uh, peaceful march in the world, which aims at uh, maintaining peace and call for the freedom with that of Latin. Uh, thank you. Uh, okay, everybody, any of us that will give us some information about the participants and volunteers in this event? Hi, everybody. In 1975, Arsenia from King Hassan VII, the 350,000 Moroccans, men and women, marched into the Sahara, uh, march into the Sahara and meet into fire. They stay two days uh, and cross into the region uh, of uh, Sahya Pumba. In an atmosphere of celebration, they were singing Sal Hassan song and playing folklore music. Uh, they planted the terror in the terror in uh, the hearts of the enemies by their members and their songs. Indeed, uh, the weapons of peace uh, uh, are uh, where the Moroccan flag. Uh, the Holy of uh, Quran and uh, the pictures of uh, the Hassan the Servant. Uh, well, let's know with Nada Khatouri uh, the objectives of this march. Hello, I'm, uh, I'm so happy to be here. Uh, the, uh, the objective of the Green March is uh, the liberation of the Moroccan Sahara from Spanish occupation, uh, which was in 1884. For this purpose, King Hassan II announced the, uh, the, orga uh, the organization of the Green March to prove the patriotic values and solidarity of Moroccans and sacrifice for their uh, for the liberation of uh, the southern provinces uh, uh, of their own country. Uh, let's have a bright look to the Polisario Fund to the Act Fund. Hello everyone and thank you for having me today, it's an honor. So, uh, we've all heard about the Polisario Front, but none of us actually knows the exact problem. So briefly, I'll try to explain what's going on. So, the southern regions of Morocco is a disputed territory so far. And it's all because of the Polisario Front who claims that the Moroccan Sahara is theirs which doesn't make any sense, because since ever, the leaders of the southern regions had good relationships with the Sultan of Morocco, build on loyalty, sincerity, so they can't just come from nowhere and deny this whole history. And actually that's exactly what they're doing, the Polisario Front, uh, they're saying that Morocco is occupying their lands. Uh, the Sahara has never been a standing country by itself, so technically even if what they're saying is true, uh, you can't occupy a country that never existed before. In my personal opinion, I think that the objective of the Polisari Front's organization is to achieve some political goals of the Algerian region. I think having an interface to the Atlantic Sea will improve their commercial exchanges with such countries as the USA, Asia, and so on. 
but it's just my personal opinion. I mean, we can't assume anything. And now, uh, Morocco, of course, tried to solve the problem since it began. It proposed the creation of a Sahara autonomous region with local administration. Uh, it's a self-rule, but under one condition, it's to remain under control of Morocco. And it's an excellent solution. I mean, they want independence, and Morocco gave them one. But the proposal was refused for no logical reason. Thank you, that was totally logical. Uh, sir, do you have anything to add? Um, right, so first of all, uh, uh, hi everybody. Hi, um, Dan, I'm very happy to be here with you Sorry. and to have discussion about such great events, such great historical event that's really wrought a golden chapter in the history of Morocco. Um, it is really an amazing event because um, it proves to what extent the Moroccans they can sacrifice with everything for the sacrifice with everything for the sake of their of their country. Um, and it also proves to what extent a peaceful march or a peaceful demand for the liberation can really be workable and pragmatic and we can achieve certain objectives without any words. It's like what's happening today around the world where we have violence, we have words, we have certain things and so on. So the Green March remains um, a symbolism or a good sample that proves to what extent peaceful demand can lead to the final objective, which is the uh, liberation of the country and, and so on. Um, I'm really happy to see students talking about this because it is no longer acceptable to give just, just to some groups who speak in the name of all Moroccans about this issue as if this issue is just, uh, is just for, for these groups or the, the government or whatsoever. So it's nice to have students, it's nice to involve all people from all parts of Morocco and speak about this issue because it's, it is my problem, it is your problem, it is our problem to show to the world the realities of this, this issue. Because this space, when we give chance just to some representative talking about this issue, so they, they create a gap where, for example, the Polisario Front or the Algerian regime they, they invent or they create certain fallacies and calamities and so on. So it is nice to have all Moroccans talking about this in order to demystify all these fallacies, misconceptions that they spread all over the world. So it is nice to, 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 to be together and to talk together about this, about the Moroccan Sahara and prove to the world that this issue is just invented by certain certain organizations like the uh, uh, the Polisario Front. Um, in terms of the reason why, why do we have to celebrate this this uh, the, 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 the Green March, this great historical event? Well, I think it's, it, it, is, it is really helpful and useful for certain reasons, among which is like to immortalize the sacrifices of these people this is number one, and to keep in mind that there are people who sacrificed with, the, with, the, with themselves, with everything for, for the liberation of this country. Number two is to keep the torch alive of, of, of uh, asking for or demanding liberation because we still have SEPTA and MILIA under colonialism. So it is nice to keep the torch of, of freedom and liberation from the the uh, colonizer and also to prove to the world that the Moroccans uh, or to give a lesson to the world that peaceful march is really uh, this peaceful march is really a symbolism of, of, of uh, protest against the um, or demand for certain uh, rights and so on um, and also it is nice to celebrate this green march because uh, it, it gives us a time when we feel that we are all together the same. It, it is the right time when we feel this sense of patriotism and nationalism because when we raise this issue of the Sahara, when we talk about these uh, hundreds of people who marched into the southern provinces, so we, we go back to the, 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 the history of Morocco, we go back to the history of our ancestors and the way they sacrificed with everything for, 
for the liberation of this part of Morocco. And as I said, is to to prove and to show to the world that there is no difference between the south region or the between the south or the east or, or, or the north or whatsoever. So this green march gives us the opportunity to show to the world that we are all together. There is no difference between Sahrawi people, Amazigh people, Arab people or Susi people. We are all Moroccans. And, and this green march is nice because it, 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 it makes us feel that we are the same. And it, it gives this sense of responsibility to people from all parts of, of Morocco. Because when there is an issue in Sahara, it does mean that people in Brumor, they are free. So this Green March really uh, proves that we are all together and we are all Moroccans. That's well, it. thank you, sir. That, was, uh, that concluded everything, uh, which is uh, nationalism is very important for us. So that was very inspiring. Thank you, sir. So, anyone, what are your wishes about the topic at hand? Uh, personally, uh, I wish that Morocco Sahara uh, stays in, uh, in its original country, that, uh, which is Morocco, and not uh, any other country. Um, in my personal opinion, I hope that uh, our countries in the world that uh, recognize Sahara Morocco is uh, not Algeria or uh, any other uh, country is the way. Simply, I hope that the problem of the Sahara uh, be solved in the most peaceful way possible. I hope the Sahara be 100% Moroccan. Um, in a nutshell, uh, Morocco is in its Sahara and the Sahara will remain a part of Morocco. And um, I hope that this message of the Green March or this message of our ancestors to, to be in our um, to be with us every time in history and to, to feel this sense of patriotism and nationalism towards this country and all the time to bear in mind that we are all Moroccans. Thank you. Uh, for me, uh, we are Moroccan and no different. Yes, thank you. Well, for me, my wish is uh, uh, just like uh, just like the Sahara has been regained, I wish that India will be proven Moroccan and regained. Uh, we will live, uh, we will live uh, peacefully in Morocco. So uh, we bid you a gratitude and thanks for being here today. It's been our pleasure to have you. Okay.